Welcome to another Wildcat All In with today's guest, men's basketball center, Anjay Tamba. Anjay, good to, we're excited to get to know you a little bit more. Uh, you have a unique journey from Africa to Tennessee to, to Weber State now. And so let's start with that. When you're growing up, did you play basketball and soccer a lot? Were those those big sports that you played? Yeah, uh, I started with uh, soccer like pretty much every kid from Africa. We, we love soccer. Soccer is a religion out there. Yeah. So I played soccer as much as I could until I got a little bit too tall uh, for soccer. Then I decided to make the switch to basketball and stick to it. You probably would have been a pretty tall goalie or tall soccer player, right? <laughs> yeah. So when did you start playing basketball? Uh, I started uh, 14 years old, okay. uh, so a couple years ago. Yeah. And uh, Was that when you came to America? When you started, or I started like for a little bit in the Congo. Okay. That's how I got the chance to come to the U.S. Okay. Because yeah, and that's what I was going to ask you. What what brought you at, at that age, you yeah. know, for high school age, from from the Congo to Tennessee? Uh, just uh, the chance, the opportunity to come play basketball here. Like I say, soccer is uh, is big in Congo. Basketball is not as big, and uh, I got a chance uh, to uh, be. I would say, called to come to the U.S. But uh, other people are here, and they gave me the chance to come just play basketball. Yeah. Okay. What do you miss most about the Congo, about home? Uh, I would say food, uh, um, of course, family, uh, the music, and just the, the, the culture in general, yeah. but yeah. mostly food and, <laughs> and the music. Well, it had to have been a little bit of a culture shock, right? Coming At that age especially, coming yeah. to the United States, what was that like? It was uh, it was um, it was tough for, for a, little, a little kid to to just mm -hmm. leave his family and come uh, follow the dream of playing basketball. So uh, I enjoyed it because you got new friends, new experience. You playing basketball, which is a game. So yeah. you're just uh, enjoying it and uh, relying on people around you. So and so you attended high school at Knoxville Catholic in Knoxville, right? Yeah. And you you developed a, a relationship with as you call them, your U.S. parents, is that right? Yeah. And they obviously still are, are close with you. Yeah, they are um, supporting me since day one. Uh, they're always coming to the game, always cheering for me, always always there since my dad actually coached me for AAU. So okay. yeah. uh, I spend a lot of time with him driving in the car and uh, doing uh, the trips for yeah. different tournaments. And so you sat out last year as a, as a red shirt at the University of Tennessee, right there in Knoxville, real close to your home, right? Yeah. What was that experience, though, like being on the, uh, in the program, not playing, though? It, it's tough because you, you're a basketball player. You just want to be out there and contribute, run up and down. And, but he understood that I needed to, to get better and better myself, and there is no uh, better program then Tennessee out there, like mm -hmm. top five school yeah. in the country. So it was a good experience being around uh, University of Tennessee, great player, great coaches and all that. And then what was it after that that brought you here from there to Weber State? Uh, I just saw, like I say, it was tough to, to see that a full year. And um, I just wanted to play basketball. Just like I said, yeah. run up and down, that, that, that's the goal. The, Want to have fun, and uh, so I decided. I talked to my coach at Tennessee, I talked to my parents, and I thought it was better for me to leave the program, which is I love. I love everybody there, still, and uh, I was looking for another another homework and just come and play play the game I love. And what did you know about Weber State at the time? Uh, I didn't know much. <laughs> uh, all I knew. Uh, of course, uh, Damien Lillard went there. My brother, my American brother, is a big uh, Damien Lillard fan okay. since uh, <laughs> since I known him. So uh, I knew we would stay to him, and um, I knew it was uh, somewhere in the west of the country, and uh, that's pretty much it. What do you think about the winter, the cold, and the snow? Uh, no, <laughs> no, don't get me started. <laughs> I, I want to go back to uh, Knoxville right now. So it's a uh, well, it's not good. It's it'll not it'll good. get better. It'll get better. <laughs> well, that's a neat story. What are you majoring in? Um, uh, business ads. Okay. What do you think major. you want to do when you're when you're done playing basketball? What do you think you want to do? It's an interesting question. I just uh, just want to help uh, 
help my people, help family, help uh, the people mm -hmm. around me. Those uh, those have been uh, around me since day one. Well, I got a little time. You still want to play some basketball first, right? <laughs> Absolutely. Let's get a couple other questions just to get to know you. Who's your? Do you have a favorite pro athlete? Pro athlete. Uh, what sport? I, I follow. Well, any I sport. guess any sport. <laughs> you tell me. Uh, or, or athlete or team. Uh, in basketball, professional basketball, Milwaukee Bucks. Okay. Uh, Giannis, Giannis of course, yeah. Kevin Durant, uh, yeah. the Brooklyn Nets. Um, so they, they, in every sport, I have, uh, I okay. have uh, one favorite athlete. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. What's your favorite food? You mentioned food earlier. What's your favorite food? Uh, I'm a steak guy. I always like uh, some chicken, eh, some steak, some uh, rice, and uh, some beans. Okay. Yeah. Um, what is a dream vacation, a place you never been to that you'd love to go visit? Uh, I would say um, Egypt. I mm -hmm. just uh, want to go see uh, the pyramids. I think it's yeah. very cool and kind of learn the history of uh, how the built and all that. Interesting. And you say you speak three languages, right? What languages are those? Uh, I speak uh, French, Lingala, which is a local language from the Congo. Then I speak English. Uh, English. Pretty impressive, yeah. Yeah. How do you get to talk to your your family in the Congo very often? Yeah, I talk to them uh, every week. Okay. Good. So I kind of split between French and, and yeah. Lingala. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. Well, Tomba, thanks for joining us. It's great to get to know you. We're excited to watch you on the basketball floor and and get to know you here more at Weber State. We're glad to have you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Go Wildcats.